So um, from your perspective, how is the TS40 bootcamp roadmap? Like it is a, like aligned with the job market and efficient for the interview or it is just something just that we just put things together. It is too much outdated and not specific ready for the job market for someone to get a job. Uh, no. So this is something like if anyone, any student just follow uh, this step just follow this dot or just follow the instruction that SAR or the private course provided. This is the best thing to, you know, like get to the job market and not in the, not only the job market, also getting the job because everything, each and every step, this is according to our um, market wise or the, you know, is just, uh, okay. as, yes, that the roadmap is aligned with the, job with not the job market only is just aligned with our uh, job because I I just did nothing. I just follow the instruction that our my uh, Dolanapu or Bhaiya said every time. I all the time I communicate with sir and then you know like I, I just follow that instruction. This is the one and only way then you can just you know after you finish your workshop just communicate with sir align that uh, step and then just did what uh, sir said. That's it. This is enough for to getting a job. You don't okay. need to do anything, you know, like uh, extra or anything after that step. So you're saying should, people should not look into the YouTube video, the no, UDD. No, no. Okay, got it. Yeah. So many students, uh, they, they attempt to do this and that we, we tell them not to do this because the, we, when we put the video on the YouTube, it's a marketing for us, basically. Okay. To attract other students. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to work with somebody else very closely and follow their guidance and follow the process and procedure so they can take you through the journey and it is done, basically. I actually don't need to like, when I need to go to the YouTube video, when I just didn't get any assistance from them, right? Like if I just ask any issue or any question to my coach and they are not there for answer me, then I just feel to, okay, just let's check on the YouTube. But here is no way to do that because every time anyone has the question, there will be someone stand by that answer your question. So why do I need to go to the YouTube? Yep, and then plus we have the AI. Of course, yeah. uh, sometimes it is it is okay. It is completely okay to learn your own organic way. So we have the AI, you can ask the question to AI. Nowadays, uh, people even the focus on other materials because they want to go to the AI and ask the question. So we have the AI ready to go to get the answer immediately, right? What do you think about that? Mm, this is right, sir, some of that part, but as my experience, because, you know, as I'm just working with Doranapu, Doranapu know the way that I understand, right? The AI or the YouTube, they doesn't know the way that you understand. So sometimes, I, you know, like someone with a very simple word, they understand sometimes, you know, like, so your private, if I ask anything, Doranapu, Doranapu know, okay, so if I answer like this, Anika will be able to understand. So, but YouTube or the AI, they don't know like my way to understand the thing. So that's how, that's why I just, yeah, during your learning process, it's good to go with your private coach or ask, you know, with uh, uh, with any of that uh, related to TS4. But after that, once you're done with your learning process and you are just, you know, now you are just time for to update or update your skill set, then you can just go for the short courses, YouTube or AI. But during this learning process, is better that the, your private coach knows better than the, uh, you know, knows you better than the YouTube or the AI. So during this learning process, uh, good to ask them. Yes, I think I do totally agree that the, the you are you are having a specific problem, and only somebody know that that is specific answer to actually push you through the journey. Mm -hmm. In some point, it's a human being, right? We get the over hyper. We want to learn so many things. We want to just step over on everything else. So number one bad thing is you are out of the focus. And then you, if some point, if you do not disclose to your private coach, you are actually living in another universe now. Mm -hmm. So now you are actually lost and uh, your productivity will go down. You are going behind. In some point, you'll be stressed out because of course, uh, we do not have the content you are following. We have the content in front of us and we want to go through this content to get it done and to actually the, push it to the market. So she is right. It's strictly, you, you should not even look anything, right or left, top and bottom. Just focus 
on the forward and the work with your coaches so then it becomes easier for you and for everybody to get it done.